About 60 years ago, in the year 1964, Japan invented the high-speed railing system. These were trains that would go at least 200 kilometers an hour. When the Japanese invented such transportation, it created a revolution all around the world. As you know, the Japanese love their train, and that is why they're developing a train right now that will go at a speed of 500 kilometers an hour. They're planning on connecting this train from Tokyo to Osaka, and it will go faster than an airplane. And this means the train will travel 438 kilometers in 67 minutes. Not only is this project the most expensive train project in the entire world's history, but the railing system is also the most expensive. Since the first day the Japanese invented the high-speed railing system, day by day, they always tried to make them quicker and quicker. The biggest problem with high-speed railing system is the weight of the train and the friction it causes. And this would cause the train to fall out of the rail. And even if it stayed on the rail, it would shake very bad and create huge amounts of noise. They eventually came to a conclusion that trains shouldn't be on wheels and they should float. This is when they came up with the maglev idea. The magnetic levitating train came from an American from the year 1912. They took this idea and even though it had been years since this idea came up, but they didn't know what they had to do to actually make this idea work. And this magnetic system literally makes the train float. Float with the power of magnets. The Japanese and the Germans tested maglev technology for about 40 years. And then eventually the Chinese actually used the idea. The first maglev train was built in Shanghai, China in the year 2004. But China received help from Germany to make this thing actually work. At that time, this train had a speed of 430 kilometers an hour, and it was the fastest train known to man. Even though it has been 18 years since the Chinese built this train, but it still remains as the only maglev train that's operating to this day. And the Japanese have not built their first one yet. But as you know, they're in the process of developing the most advanced one. Building railway system for a high-speed train is much cheaper than a maglev railing system. And it's calculated to be about one-third of the price. The maglev train that was built in Shanghai, nobody really liked it around the world, except for the Japanese. And they believe that they need this all over Japan. And the main reason is the geography of the country. This system is extremely important for Japanese economy. When you connect Tokyo to Osaka, where 18 million people live between these cities, and you have something that's faster than an airplane, this allows you to have employees all over Japan work around the country and this helps out the economy tremendously with this train system you could basically count osaka and tokyo as one city because you can travel between them in about an hour they have already started building the railing system for this maglev train and the first system is gonna go from tokyo to nagoya which will be finished by the year 2027 and then they're gonna start building from nagoya to osaka which will take an additional 10 years and it will be ready by 2037. The name of the fastest train the Japanese are building is called the SC Maglev. When this train starts moving, it travels on wheels, but that's until 150 kilometers an hour. When the SC Maglev reaches this speed, it deploys the wheels back up and then it floats with the power of the magnets. And without any friction, it moves at a speed of 500 kilometers an hour. Since this train is the fastest train in the world, how does it break? The braking system is unique as well, since there is no braking system like an ordinary train or car. So the electromagnetic force is gonna be stopping the train as well. And just the way it pushes the train 
forward. It will put a backwards force onto the train and stop it quickly. And this is without any friction. This is an extremely quick braking system and it's known as the fastest braking for any train built to this day. Like we said, they're building the railway for this and they're building the trains. So the project is moving forward. But all around the world, there's always one question being asked. Is it really worth it? Because one of the biggest issues is the size of the maglev train. Japan is trying to connect two of its biggest cities that have about 18 million between them. That's why it seems like it's worth it for them. But just like we said, they can't be too big. And that is why they need way more cars than an ordinary train. Another huge problem this type of train faces is the energy usage. It needs four times the energy of a normal high-speed train. And that's four times the electricity. When they do calculations around the world, they realize that this type of train is only worth it in Japan. Even in Europe, where the countries are small and the population is compact, it's not worth it. So forget about the US or China. But Japan is very small. It has a huge population. It's extremely capitalistic and it needs a transportation system that's this quick. And that's one of the main reasons the Japanese don't care about the cost and they believe it should just get done because it will help them on the long run. When the Japanese were developing the high-speed railing system in the 1960s, the whole world was laughing at the Japanese and saying, we will never need transportation this quick. But right now, you'll find the same train system that was built in the 1960s in Japan all around the world. Trains that travel at a speed of at least 200 kilometers an hour. We might get to a time where these magnetic train system or maglev will be found everywhere around the world. What do you guys think?